Good afternoon. Can you truly say, bro, we slayed it? No, I, uh, it seems I'm trying hard with, with the trendy words. Some of your words that you are using right now, or not only some, many of your words, is so per perplexing for not only for the teachers, but also for your parents. The theme would even talk about unity and diversity, but even in our homes, we are already very diverse. Diverse not only in opinions, diverse not only in the race, in religion, or any background, but even the generation. Your, most of your parents are Gen X, but you, you are no longer millennials, you are they called you Alpha Generation or Generation Z. And being in a generation, in your generation, also gave me a hard time to understand because you are so diverse. Very diverse that even your language, we cannot understand. Chill, bro, right? But I don't know what does it mean. Or others would say, the days of off are gone. We slayed it and we're looking so snatched tonight. Uh -huh. Did I say it right? <laughs> or YOLO. YOLO is out already. So my dear completers, this day is for you. Not only you, by the way, also your parents. This is the fourth completion ceremony of PISQ. The first completion ceremony was filled with mixed emotions. First, for the children, for the completers, because they're so eager to proceed to the senior high school. But for the parents, it was of different emotion. It was so stressful because it's another two years in high school. So after four years, we already know how important the senior high school. You'll be back in school by August. So it means you have three months to prepare yourselves for senior high school. But does it mean it's an easy walk? A walk in the park? A piece of cake? No, it will be a different challenge. But in order for you to surpass the challenge when you proceed to the senior high school, I will give you a tip. You should start your day with FB. What FB? Facebook? No, you should start First, to believe. Believe that you can do things. I can do all things through my Creator. So you have to believe first that you will surpass all the challenges in senior high school, then to college. First, believe that you can do it with the help of your friends, with your parents, and believe in yourself. And you will achieve what you want in life. So unity and diversity, is not only within our country, but even in our own family and even in ourselves. So with that, I would like to congratulate all of you, and we hope that this challenge will ring to your ears when you proceed to the senior high school. To your parents, let's give your parents a round of applause for bringing you to school every day, for giving you that baon every day and to your classmates for helping you in all the tasks, the performance tasks, and everything you need. And, of course, to your teachers. Thank your teachers for the patience and the care and the love that they have given you. Give your teachers a round of applause also. So let us remember that this is a completion and not yet the end of your journey you are about to begin another chapter of your life. Congratulations and good afternoon. To believe that everything is possible when we start to believe in ourselves, those are the words of wisdom coming from our beloved principal, Mr. Jason AES. Thank you so much, sir, for your inspiring message. At this moment, let us welcome Elijah Mariel D. Tatlonghari with high honors from Grade 10 Charity to give us a tribute speech. Let's give her a warm round of applause. 
to our distinguished keynote speaker, Dr. Alvin Abainza, to the Head of Administration and Finance, Ms. Vila A. Inguilio, our dearest school principal, Sir Jason A. Iaz, our beloved department head, Ms. Trinidad D. Cabaliza, administrators, teachers, parents, friends, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Thank you is the first word I would like to say as I stand here before you. Thank you for all the experiences, good and bad. Thank you for all the memories. And most of all, thank you for this great honor and opportunity to be able to speak in front of you all. My journey in high school is one big realization. I discovered a lot of things about myself, my strengths and weaknesses, my limitations, and those that I've never known I'm capable of. Let me share with you one of my success journeys here in high school, that because of this encounter, my meaning of success has really changed. Just recently, in November 2018, I experienced a taste of success when I won an on-the-spot painting competition in Bahrain. I felt the highest form of happiness I could ever feel at that moment. From the time the announcer called my name until the very second I stood in front of everybody holding my own plaque and wearing my own medal. It all happened in few minutes, but those feelings are like hours of mixed emotions. I know that moment was the moment I've been waiting for. The moment I've been wishing, hoping, and praying for. The joy when it finally happened was the dream that I never thought would turn into reality. After a month long of preparations, days of contemplations, and hours of actual action during competition, the euphoria when I was declared a winner only lasted for a few minutes. A pint of success cost gallons of tears, sweat, exasperation, and hard work. That is why I learned that we should not look after the material success because it will always be short-lived. Rather, we should always look forward to the ABCs of the journey towards the success we are aiming for. If we came home thinking that we brought home the experience rather than our material success, then we would be savoring success a lot tastier and longer. Even though without that medal or plaque, I know I could still bring home the taste of success because in my mind, it was the experience that I won and not the contest. Experience is priceless. That is why no kind of material can substitute it. Experience is all. Failures and success are both part of it. If I failed, at least I experienced and I learned. Therefore, I grew from it. If I won, thank you, Lord, it's still an experience. To constantly remind myself of this, a special person who is also my mentor and longtime teacher once said to me, Kung matalo, okay. Kung manalo, edi mas okay. Being there is already one of the achievements na. You can't buy the experience. Tandaan mo, okay lang ang matalo. It's not the end of the world. Bonus na ang manalo. And those words reminded me every day that whatever we achieve in life, whether we win or lose, once we leave the most of the present moment, gain the experience, and learn everything we could, then we have achieved the greatest trophy we could ever get. And that is the valuable and most unforgettable memories we shared with our friends and the people that matter to us. The priceless lessons we learned from these experiences are the treasures we would bring throughout our lives. The treasure that more than any medal or certificate could offer. And that is what I call true success. It's not the ending that made us a better person, but the process that we went through. The process was surely not easy, but it is in the difficult times and hardships where we truly get to know ourselves better. The saying goes, if you want to conquer the world, Conquer yourself first. In that way, you can be victorious in achieving your dreams. Dreams not only for ourselves, but for those people dear to us. Today, with humble jubilation and pride, 
I am now in front of you, claiming the fruit of our labors. Of course, I can't get through with it without the support of the people around me. Thanks to the many people who encourage me to continue striving, no matter how difficult it gets. First and foremost, to my family, my very supportive parents, my mom, Janet Tatlonghari, and my dad, Edgar Tatlonghari, were always there by my side during my ups and downs. I just want to say that I'm very proud of my parents for graciously bringing up their five children. Thank you, Paul, for loving us and doing everything you can to support us in our endeavors in life. No matter how hard and tiring it is, you still strive to give the best for us. To my Okar family, thank you for all the wonderful experiences we shared during the trainings and in the competition itself. To our teachers who taught us lessons in life, not only from the book, but the lessons that made us better person, starting with my current advisor, Ms. M.G. Manalo. Thank you, Paul, for your support, guidance, and understanding. Then to Sir Jerome, my second father, and at the same time, a mentor. Thank you for believing in me and guiding me all the way in and out of the classroom. Mom Jean, Mom Rose, Mom Jonna, Mom Mavic, and Mom Serrano, Sir Paga, and Sir Jeff, and to all the previous teachers who were also part in my high school journey, Mom Jo, Sir Anton, Sir Norman, Mom Ina, and the rest, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. To all my friends and classmates, I may, not be mention, I may not be able to mention you all, but deeply, I'm very grateful and thankful to all of you. Shawar Mazu, Charity, Brilliance, Modesty, Faith, Barwa Girls, and the rest, you know who you are. Thank you for making my year complete. We, the junior high school completers, would like to thank all the teachers deep in the hearts that we are very grateful for your hard work and passion to teach us just so we could reach our dreams in life. To all our parents who raised and brought us to this pedestal, thank you. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Once again, congratulations. Experience is indeed priceless. Thank you, Elijah, for reminding everybody that every experience counts, whether they're good or bad. And now, we move on to the presentation of our candidates for completion. May we request our junior high school department head, Ms. Trinidad Di Cabaliza, to come forward for the presentation of the candidates. Also, our school principal, Mr. Jason A. Iyas, for the confirmation of the completers for this school year 2018 to 2019. Mr. Jason A. Iyas, our school principal, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for completion for this school year 2018-2019, composed of 105 boys and 78 girls for a total of 183. This batch has satisfactorily completed the academic requirements for grade 10 prescribed by the Department of Education, Republic of the Philippines. By the power vested in me by the Department of Education, Republic of the Philippines, I now confirm you completers. Congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Cabaliza and Mr. Iyas. Completers, you may now take your seats. At this point, it is a great honor and privilege for us all to hear the message coming from the Secretary of the Department of Education, Secretary Leonor Magtolis Briones, to be read to us by the cultural attache of the Philippine Embassy, Ms. Jill Del Rosario Gardose. Let's give her a round of applause. Honorable Principal Jason Iyas, 
our department head, Ms. Teresa Cabaliza, um, our keynote speaker, Dr. Alvin Abainza, teachers and staff of the Philippine International School, Qatar, parents, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is with great honor that today I represent the Philippine Embassy to convey the speech of the Secretary of the Department of Education. Allow me to read this inspiring message. My warmest greetings and congratulations to the foremost champions of this momentous occasion, the completers and graduates of school year 2018-2019. Graduation and moving up ceremonies are indeed a joyous celebration not only because it culminates in another year of learning and discovery, perseverance, and passionate work among our learners. It also caps off another year of successful collaboration among parents, teachers, education officials, and personnel, community members, and stakeholders of diverse routes cultures, and traditions. This year's theme, Unity in Diversity, Quality Education for All, speaks of our commitment and loyalty to our culture, diverse as it is. That reflects our soul and unites our people. Time and again, we have proven that regardless of our descent, status, ethnicity, and religious and political beliefs, we have united towards the realization of a common goal, the delivery of quality, accessible, relevant, and liberating basic education for Filipino learners. While the Department of Education has carried on and embraced change amid technological advancements, and the continuously shifting solo economic landscape, it commits itself the holistic development of the 21st century learners, who are not only critical and innovative thinkers in the fields of science, mathematics, robotics, but are also artistic and creative, and can thrive in the fields that appear to our soul and our sense of identity. Rest assured that through the K-12 basic education program, DepEd shall strive to hone our future leaders and nation builders in a society that embraces diversity and all its challenges and advantages. I am positive that whatever path they wish to pursue hereafter, our graduates and completers will continuously enrich what makes, the, what makes up the Filipino soul, our culture, talent, history, and capacity to survive. Again, congratulations and mabuhay. Signed, Lenore Magtulis Briones, Secretary of the Department of Education. Um, on a personal note, I would like again to congratulate the completers. You are now one step closer to your dreams. But um, please continue to, to, to keep the burning enthusiasm in your hearts. The road to success will not be easy. It will be long. But do not think of how, how far you will go, but how far have you gotten. I would like to leave to you four words that will guide you in your life and for achieving your life goals. Number one, always pray. Number two, honor your parents. Number three, be kind always to others. Number four, work hard and everything will follow. I would like to to ask for applause for the teaching staff of PISQ. I 
under the leadership of Sir Jason E.S. Thank you for the patience and dedication, sir. Congratulations for another completed academic year. May I request the parents and the graduates also to continually support the school for its endeavor. Finally, I would like to ask the completers to stand up. Um, please face your parents and wave your hand. This gesture is a sign of your gratitude and appreciation for their love, sacrifice, and unending support. Thank, thank you, completers. Maraming salamat po and enjoy the rest of the ceremony. Thank you. To sum up, be a good person. This is indeed what makes us true Filipino educated individual. Thank you so much, Ms. Jill Del Rosario Gardose, cultural attache from Philippine Embassy. At this point, we, we have come to the most awaited part of our completion ceremony, and we believe that our completers are now ready to receive their humble piece of achievement earned through the four years of diligent study, their certificate of completion. Completers, please be ready now to receive your certificate. With this, may we request once again our school principal, Mr. Jason A. E.S., and our junior high school department head, Ms. Trinidad D. Cabaliza, as well as our guest of honor, Dr. Alvin B. Abainza, to distribute the certificates. May we also request the class advisors to assist us as the completers receive their certificate. Starting with the advisor of Grade 10 Charity, Ms. Mary Grace P. Manalo. Allow me to express exuberance as I introduce to you the completers of Grade 10 Charity. School year 2018-2019, starting with Abriol Vince Luis A. Almario Neil Andre C with honors. Anino Lionel Marie 